dolphin tale tells the story of Winter, the dolphin, who, after losing her tail in an accident, is fitted with the world's first prosthetic dolphin tail. Kevin Carroll, the real life prosthetist behind that technology, continues to educate around the world, and he made a stop in Portland today. For thousands of amputees, Kevin Carroll represents hope, healing, and strength. Look at you. You are rocking and rolling. He travels all over the world providing care and expertise. Today, the world renowned prosthetist is at the Hanger Clinic in Portland. This is a very energetic community, and it's great to come in and work with people who really want to be up moving again. And it's incredible to see they actually are. For more than 30 years, Carroll has dedicated his life to the latest in prosthetic technology. His most famous case on a Florida dolphin inspired a book and two movies. The special silicone sleeve used on that dolphin is now being used by people. A lot of our soldiers came back from Iraq and Afghanistan you know, really needing new technologies. And as a result, there has been a real quantum leap in where prosthetics has gone in the last five years. That's good. 75 year old Skip Ricker is a double amputee, but he hasn't slowed down one bit after four years with prosthetic legs. In fact, the retired engineer is often crafting ways to maximize his own mobility. I'd be a lot lower, but I could get down and walk around instead of going in my wheelchair, uh, especially out working in my garage. Well, we'll figure out a way to make it happen because you know. This is the type of interaction Carol has with each and every patient. Listening carefully to each one, taking what he learns back to the lab. The consumer is you know, more educated than we ever have been, and as a result, you know they come in looking for newer technologies or they'll hear about new technology and they're driving technology. Carol visited with 56 patients at the Hanger Clinic today. Tomorrow, he heads to Worcester, Massachusetts, to do it all over again.